Hey everyone, it's Sarah Thomas. So, it is back to school time, right? Here in Nashville, school has started, and I know if your kids have not started yet, they are about to here in a few weeks, right? And you know, one of the biggest things I hear from moms and dads is that they dread school lunches. They dread even letting their kids eat a school lunch because it's not the healthiest option. And then they really dread making school lunches for a variety of reasons, but most of them being because their kids don't seem to eat them very well. So I'm here today with a new series for you. This is our healthy school lunch series. And I'm starting today with a tip that's not necessarily something that you can pack in their lunch, but an idea to think about as you make those lunches as the start of the school year begins. And I will be giving you more tips on different ideas of actual foods, as well as other things that you can do, creative ways that you can make lunches fun as we go. So here is your first tip. The first tip is to keep your portion sizes small. So I know that my kids eat way more at home than they do at school, and I've heard every excuse there is in the book. I didn't have enough time. So-and-so was talking to me or, um, you know, the teacher said I only had one more minute, so I had to clean up, whatever it was. So they end up coming home with a lot of their food, and I don't know why, but I, my kids have not figured out that they can throw their food away and come home and look like they've eaten everything. So they still bring their food home that they don't eat, and I'm telling you, it's about half of their lunch. So what I started doing was making their portion sizes smaller, and I have a few containers that actually help me do that for them. These um, right here that I have are called Fit and Fresh, and you can buy them a variety of places. I've even, even seen them at the grocery store. Target, um, Babies R Us, Toys R Us, those types of places carry these all over. So what's really cool about these is that it's it's a small portion, and on the side this actually says is one cup versus two cups. It kind of tell you how much is in this container. Um, and it's not very big, so you know you can fill this up with fruit or whatever it is that you want in here. But what I really love about this is that it comes with a little uh, freezer pouch right here. This actually comes out and you can freeze this little por portion and it's the top and it just sticks right on here. We have some in this size as well as a smaller square container and then a little larger one that's actually like a sandwich size container. These are fabulous to put in lunches. Keep those portions small, then once you realize they are eating more of a certain food, then you can pack more in there. So I hope this first tip helps you. More to come soon, guys.